Hey, what's up guys? Want to get a chance at winning one of these triple blister pin packs from Pokemon Sun and Moon Forbidden Light? All you got to do is leave a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel to enter the giveaway. And on top of everything there, each winner will get a chance at an ultra rare card from our giveaway binder. So make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to enter the giveaway. This giveaway will drop once we hit a thousand subscribers. Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Mud Capel. Today, we're going to be opening the Tapu Koko pin collection. And I'm starting a new series. I've always, I did Throwback Thursday, a Throwback Thursday series a while back. But I haven't been doing that lately. But I figured I wanted to bring that back. But do something a little special to it. Um, it's still going to be a Throwback Thursday. But I'm going to be starting to open products that are reaching their one year anniversary. So pretty much products that were released 365 days, exactly one year ago, or at least like one year ago oh, during that week. You know, yeah, you know what I mean. Basically this Tapu Koko pin collection was released last year's, um, June 2nd of last year, I believe. And we're not opening just one. We have three amazing Tapu Koko pin collections. They come with pretty good packs really really good packs and then let's go ahead and fast forward so we crack this all open all right all right all right so we have the tapu coco promo cards sm31 um flying flip tapu coco super super playable one of the best promos to come from Pokemon. Definitely one of the main reasons why I bought these products. And I bought these a while back. I want to say at least half a year ago. And I think, I believe I bought them at a Toys R Us sale. Fortunately in the States, Toys R Us is no longer in business. But here in Canada, we still have Toys R Us. So that makes me happy. And uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I bought these at a Toys R Us sale. And I didn't couldn't figure out an occasion to open these and I figured hey why don't we just wait till, till their uh wait till the product's birthday first year anniversary since this product was released figured this would be a really good occasion of course they come with these really cool looking top of cocoa pins three of them of course because we opened three i'm gonna put those on to the side and of course what you guys are out here for the packs Two Guardians Rising and a Steam Siege. Don't mind the Steam Siege at all. Volcanion's a cool dude. And Professor Sycamore is a full art in this set, so pretty dope. All right, without further ado, let's get cracking. I'm gonna go, I was considering opening all the Steam Siege packs first, but let's just go box by box. We'll see how each box goes. Card trick over here, okay. Start off with the Sneasel, Mantine, Mankey, Yanma, Ape Bomb, Captivating Pokepuff, Clefki, Lampant, Reverse Hollow, Hippo, and a Volcanion. Regular air, pretty, pretty good. That's actually a really playable Volcanion, so not complaining. We have Guardians Rising now. We have six Guardian Rising packs. Honestly, I just want any sort of full art, hyper rare, or any Lele GXs. It doesn't need to be the full art or the rainbow rare version. Any sort of Lele's would make me very very happy. Three, take out the energy there and let's get the show on the road. Clefairy, Barbaroach, Carvahana, Fletchling, Litwick, Tentacruel, Ether Paradise Conservation Area, Hala, Reverse Hollow Enhanced Hammer, and a regular red Lumala. And I, I was going to give away the codes, but I forgot. So here you go. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Here's a top cool pin collection code. You'll get the promo for sure online. And uh, the promo is going for a pretty good price. It's a really good card, so just wanted to show my appreciation to y'all who are watching the video throughout and not just skipping to the end. I know some people do that, but for those of you who are watching my videos, or I just really appreciate y'all. You guys are the best. Let's go ahead and take the energy out of there. And let's get it. Alolan Sandshrew, Murkrow, Helioptile, Machop, 
Slowpoke Aloma Mola Choice Band. Okay, Vanillish. Reverse Hollow Vanillux. Oh, that tease. Oh, that tease. We have a Sylveon GX. I thought it was a Lele because it's all pink. But hey, we got a Sylveon, which is pretty good out of one of the pins. So we got at least we got an Ultra Rare from that. And Sylveon's not a bad one at all. So can't complain there. We got a Choice Band from that same pin. So that was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good one. And a Volcanion too. So that was a very, very decent one. All right, on to the next one. And I don't know why the Steam Siege packs from this era are like super loose. You can literally just snap it open like this. I hope it doesn't mean that they've been searched, but I wouldn't know what people would search for in Steam Siege that's worth a ton anyways. But here we go. Let's start off with a Clauncher. Fletchling Sedat. Drifloom, Meryl, Skiploom, Armor, Fossil, Shield on, Braviary, Reverse Hollow, Rare Primate, that's pretty cool, and a Druddy Gun, regular rare. On to the Guardians Rising, we still have not to get to pull the Lele, I haven't pulled the Lele in a long time. If we can pull a Lele here, that would, that would just make this opening like 100%, 100% worth it. Energy over there. And let's roll. Start off with the Chansey. Pet Lil, Trubbish, whoops, Machop, Alolan Geodude, Weepin' Bell, Hotjog, Galalee, Reverse Hollow Gothita, and a Hollow Rim Champ. That's not too bad. Last pack from this pen collection. Let's see what we can get. Ugh. Okay. The code over there. Three and two. All right, we got a Cottony, Bell Sprout, Panchum, Snorin, Chansey, Fletchender, a Golden Graveler, the Altar of the Sun, a Reverse Hollow, Brooklet Hill, and a regular rare Victory Bell. All right, so the only one from that pin was a Machamp, Hollow Rare. Reverse Hollow, Brooklet Hill is not too bad, but definitely could have been a bit better. Last pin from this opening. Oh my God, I swear these, yeah, green coat. I swear these Steam Siege packs are like super duper loose. Since it's green, we're gonna rush through this one. We have a Krogunk. Whoops. Tangela, Clink, Joltik, Ponyard, Lampin, Braviary, Nuzli, Reverse Hollow, Bisharp, and a regular Amoongoth. All right, last two Guardians Rising packs. Really like these two pack arts too, so hopefully they treat as well. Hint, hint, give us a Lele. Give us a Lele, please. Haven't pulled a Lele in a while. It has definitely been a while. All right, we have a Jangmo, oh, Trubbish, Whalmer, Halo, Phantom, Altar of the Moon, Gliscor, Brooklet Hill, Reverse Hollow Rare, Heliolisk, okay, and an Oricorio, regular rare. Last pack of this opening. Last pack. Let's try to get something really nice here. Let's try that. Uh, energy is there. Yes. Got a Halo. Wilmer, Trubbish, Jangmo, O Wimpod, Komala, Glyscor, Machoke, Reverse Hollow Enhanced Hammer, and a Rayquaza. Regular rare. Alright, so we only got one Ultra Rare from these three pins. Well, I guess you can't expect too much from these pin collections because you only get three packs. So essentially, we opened nine packs. We got one ultra rare from the nine packs, and um, I believe we got like one hollow rare, Machamp, which is nowhere to be seen. But yeah, that is all for y'all today, and I don't remember the first time I opened this. I'll definitely leave it in the suggested over here. But feel free to go check out my gameplay videos. That is where I give away all my Pokemon TCG codes. So if you guys want to win some codes, go ahead and leave a comment and like over there. And if you guys want to be entered into the giveaway as well, those will be counted. Those uh, comments in the gameplay videos will be counted towards the 1,000 subscriber gold giveaway. And of course, comments and likes in these videos will be as well. But that is all I have for y'all today. Till next time, take it easy.